Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Solito, and today I want to talk about Facebook mobile ads. I get a lot of people that come to me and they ask, how can I just create a Facebook mobile ad? Is there a way to do this? I don't see how to do it. Um, and the reason why is you can't really create a Facebook mobile ad within your traditional ad manager. So that's where I am right now. I'm actually in my ad manager back office. So if I go over to my just regular news feed and I click on my ad manager over here to the left, there is not an option to create just a Facebook mobile ad. So I do want to show you how to do that. If you have no desire whatsoever to create an ad on your in the news feed of your fans on a desktop computer or a laptop computer or create an ad over here on the right side, then this is the tutorial for you because now you are telling me that you want to create just a Facebook mobile ad. This means that when you create an ad, you're going to target this to the mobile devices of users out there that you target. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if you go over here and you create an ad, and let's just say we're looking to maybe, you know, create um, a page post engagement ad. So I'm going to pick my fan page. Um, I would come in here and, and pick my most recent status update, click continue. And if you come through here, you can see, you know, you can choose the news feed, meaning I want my ad to show up in the news feed, or I want my ad to show up just on the right hand column of Facebook. But this is going to end up showing up on desktop computers and on laptop computers, not just mobile devices. So what you can do is you can actually come in here and create this ad through here. So let's just say I wanted to promote this status update and I came down here and, and chose the location, like who do I want to target? Well, I want to target all the people in the United States, maybe Canada. Um, I choose the age range of the people I want to target. I choose the gender of the people I want to target. And then maybe I add in some interest. So this is an ad that's targeting people in network marketing. So I might come in here and target some people in particular network marketing companies. And then I want to make sure everything else is, is checked appropriately here. I mean, who am I targeting? Only people connected to my page? Am I targeting all the people on Facebook but are they within the specific criteria that I've designated here? Um, relationship status, do they need to be single in a relationship? I rarely change these up, but just so you know, you just want to go through each one of this, these pieces here because this is your targeting in this place here. So once that's done and I've set up my campaign budget and I've placed the order, what you want to do now, so if the, once you place this order and this ad is running, so let's just go over to here and I do have a, a page post engagement ad running and you've got it running right here. Right now, this particular ad that we just created is going to only be targeting the news feed of desktop computers and mobile devices and the right hand side if we choose. But what you can do is go into the power editor. So over here on the campaign, we're back in our regular Facebook ads manager. You'll see on the left here, it says Facebook. Um, you'll see the ads manager and you'll see power editor. You simply click on the power editor. Now, in order for you to see the ad you just created, you're going to have to click on this option up here called Download to the Power Editor. This is going to connect the communication between what you just did in your ad manager to the Power Editor. So I would come in here, I would download that information. Um, I'm actually not going to do that yet because I have some stuff working right now that I need to upload, but it would download all your status updates and then what you can do is you can come in here and you'll see your recent campaigns here. So I would go in here and try to find, you know, one of the recent campaigns that I just created or active campaigns that's already been approved. So it's active and here it is. Well, let's do this one. So I would see right here that status update or that ad I just created. And then I could come down, let me make this a little shorter here. Then I can come in here and this is the data. And let me just tell you, the power editor 
is not very um, user friendly. I actually have a course on it. I'll put the link below the video if you want access to that where I go into more detail about the Power Editor. But for the purpose of this video for the Facebook mobile ads, I just want to show you where it's at. So all you're going to do is I've chosen that status update, that ad that I just created based around this post that I put on my fan page. So I'm promoting this status update and I can come down here and over here it says placement. And all I simply have to do is click this button here that says news feed of mobile only. Now I've changed this ad and this ad is only showing up in the news feed of mobile devices. And that's how you create Facebook mobile ads. It's a little more advanced, but if you dig into my power editor training, you're going to understand how to do this, but it's right there for those of you that are getting this and you're following along well with me, but it's right there. And let me just tell you the power of mobile ads is huge. I find that I get more likes. Now it's going to change from person to person, from page to page, but I get more likes to my fan page after analyzing my data from people using a mobile device. I get more engagement on any of my ads that I create around and my status updates from people on mobile devices. So I like to come in here and do this where I'm only running ads and putting that money into ads that are in mobile devices and not spending it over here on the desktop computer. See right now when we set that ad up, remember I said it's going to be on desktop and mobile, but now you can say right here in mobile. And don't forget, once you make this change here, you've got to come back up here to upload changes and click that button and it's going to upload all the changes that you've just created. It's going to create that communication line back over to Facebook and voila, you've now created a Facebook mobile ad. So I hope you got a lot of value in this video. Be sure to like it and share it if you did and comment below. And guess what? I'll see you in the next training video. Bye-bye.